Hey everyone, a nerd named Mark here, and I brought out my couple, couple of my soda boxes that aren't in storage. If you saw the little quick little video thing I put beforehand, I'm gonna talk about soda stuff. Uh, more importantly, every week, um, the Bandai Candy blog does a, basically they put a blog about you know sodos, whether it's Revice, uh, some of the Chronicles, Soto X, Shoto X, stuff like that, and I read it every week when a new one goes up, and uh, you would think that, you know, me being such a Soto fan, I mean, all the Sotos I built, I have all 10 waves from uh, Saber, I have, you know, buy 1, 2, and 3 from Revice, I will be getting 4 soon, uh, and then, you know, I do have some of the Shoto's uh x is built like put together even though they're not building like sotos and i do have a lot of the chronicle ones done like uh, i have ryuki one built i have ryuki two i still have to build and then i have the golden kuga set like i have all and i have the gaim ones as well i do build a lot of sotos and every week every saturday for us sunday in japan a new blog comes up and they announce stuff that's on the horizon and i thought why not start talking about this news because I love Soto so much and I want to expand on the content and kind of, you know, do more videos for stuff that I actually enjoy and care about and stuff like that. So I'm not going to waste any time. We're going to talk about today's post, which is labeled Volcano Bomb on Revice, Ryuki Survival, and Odin Review. So let's switch over to another scene. Boom. Oh, there I am. That was so seamless. So obviously it's uh, Bandai Candy dot uh, H A T E B L O dot J P. Um, that's how you usually can get to the blog. I will put the link directly to the blog in the description so you can go check it out for yourself. Some good images in there. Um, so uh, I actually just used regular Google Translate from Japanese to English. So obviously a lot of stuff isn't going to be perfect translation. Um, my Japanese is still really bad. All right, so uh, we're going to, you know, this is the development blog, and we're going to see uh, Volcano Rex in this. This is going to be for by 6 for March. So I'm like, okay, because 4 and 5, 4 is set, it was set to release January 31st, and I believe 5 is being released on the 20th of February, which is my birthday, so that's my birthday present to myself. Um, ooh. Right off the bat, so before we get into this, like, the, my favorite thing about these blogs is you can, you can, they're actual, the figures themselves. So you can see where stickers would be, where there would be paint. Um, this obviously is going to be rough. Um, if you've seen any of my Soto videos I've done in the past, I do need to do some for the Revice sets. I have them filmed. I have to edit them still. And you can kind of see it right here. There's a lot of stickers so like anytime i have to do with stickers like around like any circular pieces i just mm, that's my big issue for that but we are getting uh volcano rex which is nice or volcano barred rex this looks so good um so this is obviously from episode 17 which we saw the giftarian and that's when you know volcano Rex was debuted, and we found that, you know, uh, Icky cannot separate them. Uh, obviously, if you haven't seen it already, I do have my Revice reaction reviews, so I already have a video up with that episode. Uh, okay, we have the shield from Vice, so I think we're going to get Barred uh, Vice's form. So, not too bad for stickers, just it looks like it's one big sticker right here, so that's good. I like the change they've done with the Sotos from Saber to Revice with the amount of stickers. More paint is on them, less stickers. They changed, like, the shoulder joints, how the feet are. Like, they changed a lot of the form factor of the figures, which I'm enjoying. And there we go. There's there's Vice. Uh, right at the bat, you can see stickers up on top of the helmet right there. All the vice ones always have the same stickers where you do the eyes and the teeth around it. Uh, the chest sticker doesn't really blend too well, but I do like that. Actually, it's been a while since we've had vice and Ravi in the same, like same forms in the same set. Cause like mammoth one and this and that were different set, different buys. Uh, so yeah. Ballad, 
that was Barrett Rex. It says Ballad. But those look ugh, those look so good. I love this form so much. This is my favorite uh form in Kamen Rider, I think, so far in between at least Saber and Revice. Uh Zero One, there's a lot of good forms I liked. But from a main rider form, I put this up there with let's see, what do I I really enjoyed uh emotional dragon from Saber and but this I like the flames on it. That's that's really cool. Gonna be a lot of stickers though. But still, I like it. Like, mm, let's see if they do more close ups. I haven't read this blog, by the way, yet. Um, I, I want the diorama they use. Or is it a diorama? Or whatever. The display. Like, they have. Like, I don't have any, like, real ways to display my stuff other than just on a shelf. But I would love to get into figure photography. But I need dioramas. That's like, oh. Uh, this looks so clean. I love, like, I don't know what it is. Like, that purple on there and that yellow with the flames just, it's good. I like it. I wonder if we're going to get a Giftarian in this, because we haven't even got Gifu Juniors yet. I believe those are coming in by five. So I don't think we'd get a Giftarian yet. Because we still haven't got Sakura. Yeah. So yeah, I like, so that sticker on that, oh, that looks so clean. Like, that... Because some of the stickers, putting them on the via stamps, which you'll see um, in some of my Soto, uh, you know, reviews and overview videos of the ones I built. Like, I hated putting the stickers on the stamps on the belt. At least, like, th the main, like, stamp area, right? I don't know why I'm showing right here. But right here, this is easy. But this area has always been a problem. But this looks very straightforward. This is not going to be a bad sticker to do. I actually like the way the vice looks too in that. That's actually a really good vice figure. And he's got his, especially because of shield. I like the shield. The shield is hilarious. But let's see. But this is, a, I wonder if we're going to get a separate shield. Like, I was curious because Baird Rex, you know, vice didn't get a new form from that. And he made his own shield. And I was just like, well, how am I going to do the poses? Because Baird Rex. Vice is just plain vice, so I don't know if I'm gonna just if we're gonna get a spare shield to put with regular vice for it. Now we got a close up. You can see uh, there's gonna be a good amount of stickers on this helmet, like the mouth area, the side right here, the visor. You can kind of see where the lines are, and then uh, that's gonna be a very sticker heavy helmet. At least vice hasn't really had that many, and all these good photos. I like how they like have a little story in there. Ooh, there we go. So we do have the um, Unibuster 50 gun mode with the Volcano attachment on it. So that's good. We're getting current weapons with it. Um, see what else we get. So, oh, good. So we got a little... They're going to talk about the details of it. So, yeah, you could see. So it looks like the mouth in this is going to be one sticker. And then that's another one. Let's see what they say. As you can see in the picture above, you can slightly express the light blue that can be seen through the back of the clear parts. Oh, yeah, you can. You can see. I like that. That's a nice. Subtle detail. And I like that the. I like how the flames are faded, so it's like, you know, it's not just regular flames that are very, like, solid detail. Ooh, hit my mic. Solid detail lines. There's, like, a fade to it. I actually like how that looks for that, for the detail, and I got, like, the purple around. That's, that's not bad. I'm glad I'm not the only one who has this issue with the stickers when they go on the th upper quad thigh area, because that's been... Getting those super smooth has been really difficult for me and kind of annoying. At least, uh, you know, no stickers. And that's good. Uh, all right. And there's the back. Obviously, no real 
well, except for the one that goes around, no real stickers. And okay. There's the weapon. More details on the helmet for Vice. It's not bad. Like I Oh, so the red is painted. Oh, that's so good. That's good. I like I like the two tone too. So no stickers for two tone, just stickers right there. That's actually painted. Okay. And then we see the how you can connect the shoulder parts. And like that's the thing, like I said before, the upgrades they've done, changing how the shoulder joints are in there, a little more free flowing, a little more you could do there's I guess I don't even know if it's a real word. There's more posability <laughs> with the the Sotos now than there were. Like um the Kuga ones were really stiff. And then uh the Saber ones but they weren't you could pose them pretty good, but the amount of stickers needed was just obnoxious. Like I like Going through and doing all the cross saber ones because they had like three different cross sabers, and then even doing uh, Storios and a few like the uh, and, like elemental drag like those stickers were a pain, and I'm glad they kind of cut back on the amount of stickers and they changed how the shoulders work. Like even right here, you can kind of see the stickers kind of falling off a bit. Um, but it, I do like that you know you could take the shoulders off easier, the arms you know can come out. Without risk of breaking them. I actually had to rebuy a few actual individual boxes during Saber Round Wave 5 and 6. Because I actually broke a few of the figures trying to just, you know, put stickers on them. And one of the hands actually snapped with the hand inside, like the, the nub inside of the thing. So I was like, well, I gotta buy a whole new one. And obviously everything is... So yeah, that's the review of it. Uh, that's gonna be in March 6th. So obviously those are the first two we're seeing. We don't know what else is gonna be coming in those sets, but here is by four, which I have over here already. Um, actually, probably easier to see it this way. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna get, you know, so we get two more forms for, uh, well, one form for live, one for uh, evil, which the jackal form. We finally get the Gifu Jr. And we're actually getting Storios. <laughs> or not Storios. Um, Solomon. Connor Solomon. Because I was wondering what was going on. Because by one had, uh, I think, Storios and a few the two other guys. I'm already drawing a blank. It's been so long. And I was like, are we ever going to get Connor or Solomon? Because I need that to complete my Saber set. So luckily, we are getting that finally. Uh, we're getting our um, jackal form for uh, Vice, or Revy anyways. I do not see the skateboard. <laughs> um, I think in one of the other blogs I said the skateboard was going to be released at some point, I think. I'm not sure when. Um, probably might be in one of the accessory boxes. But this is the one that's like, January 31st. This is the one that I have coming on the way soon. I cannot wait for that to get here. This looks just like I I got to get those other videos up so you guys can see in 4K because I filmed my um showcase of them in 4K. The how how good like uh, live was, evil. Some these this wave is so good and it kind of solidifies my love of Soto. And then here we go with by 5 and there we go there's the skateboard. So this actually has more accessories. We got Love Cove, uh, the fans. Uh, we don't have the the Commander Jean uh, bazooka yet for the tortoise stamp. Uh, this one, obviously regular uh, Barrett Rex. I'm wondering what all these stickers are for because looking over here, there's no um, extra stamps. So I'm wondering what this is gonna be for and there's no extra belts either so i'm hoping we'll get an accessory pack with maybe more belts or stamps because uh you can't really see it that good i'll switch over to my other camera really quick um up here i have the whole holder that holds the 10 stamps and i really was hoping we could i can kind of replicate that with the sotos even though that'd be really difficult because I do want to do a diorama setup. I want to make like a little Phoenix lab 
at some point because i'm hopeful even though it rarely happens with human forms i want a george figure i really do that's what i'm pushing for um but by six by five i'm really excited for one because not just because comrade gene but we're getting um kento's new form from the v cinema we're getting the falcon new form from the v cinema love coon we're gonna get love coon cove love cove love coon love coon love cove love cove and we're also going to be getting you know uh another one of the little boxes i'm going to try and 3d print those because uh they attach to the bottom and you can put you know spare hands and stuff in it but it also gives them kind of like a high rise and they're stackable and bandai as much as i love you uh i will give you money for more of these little stands not blue though i would like one to be black but um this is gonna be a really good wave because this will kind of round out and finally complete my saber stuff um i don't think the stage roadshow is gonna get forms like coming or tassel and then that bahamut uh form for saber but if that does come out that'd be great but yeah this is these two sets are gonna be really good i'm actually really excited it's kind of funny how fast we're going through a lot of the saber forms are or revise forms because after this uh i think once by six comes out that's everything up until now with episode 20 of revise for forms um obviously we don't we still haven't gotten you know otaka julio or aguilera we just now finally got our first villain with uh the gifu juniors so yeah and that's it really for um the you know the revise ones now i do believe now we're gonna start going with ryuki 3 which i really need to i can't believe it's 20th anniversary already So with, uh, not Ryuki, but with, uh, Bandai. but so with the Ryuki stuff, I have made Ryuki one. I have not built Ryuki two yet. And I do not have any of the premium Bandai ones. I do plan on getting the premium Bandai ones at some point, just not right now. Uh, so we're going to see what we're going to get with this. Ooh. The one thing I will say, the Ryuki ones, not a lot of stickers, but the detail and cause they are using the newer, like shoulder joints and that very cool to pose and this, uh, i need this i need this di diorama to, i didn't really need it but this looks that van like i i'm really enjoying uh all the ryuki ones and i want to get ooh okay 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 so the 13th person so i think with three because it's uh with Odin being added in, I believe that's almost everybody that's released for Ryuki now. I think that's com it's complete now. If you factor in the uh, premium Bandai, this Odin looks so good. Like you can tell, like stickers on the hand, stickers right there and right there in the chest. But it's just that 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 copper with the gold and the black looks so good. This is going to be, see now when I build them, like this line right here would, is going to drive me crazy. And then there's the back view, which obviously these stickers fold, oh, like wrap around. But usually the back of the figures is just the belt. And usually if there's any kind of thing going around the shins and feet, and that's it. Um, this looks, mm, so this is going to be two boxes. This is going to be box three and four. See, I like that. That's that's gonna be a the Odin's gonna oh that the chest armor looks nice. Uh this is painted, so no stickers. That's always like the least amount of stickers I'm always happy with Sotos. And let's see what else we got. Uh the back of the head and armor also colored because the gold is conspicuous. Okay, not bad. The photos are so nice. And oh you get a dedicated hand for Odin also. I like I like that. So we can do different poses. And then just uh, like all right. So that's probably gonna be one big sticker here, one there. These I hate. I hate it 
This was with uh, the Chronicles Kuga, the golden set one. I hated with the palm doing those stickers. Like that's my least favorite thing in the world to do. Use them time and yeah. Oh, there's two different little visors. All right, and then see that's good. Like that's oh, that's not gonna be fun to do. And the Phoenix, oh, premium Bandai for the gold Phoenix. All the like the dragon and everything else. They're all premium Bandai. And this is what's really been bothering me about the consistency with premium Bandai because the drivers are one thing, but with Sotos, I'm like, man, like. That looks like this look like I need those for the display. I obviously can't not get it. And then also, oh, they got the weapons too. Oof. Let's see what else we got. And I like how they do a little story. I always like that. That's Alright, let's see what we got. Nah, 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 nah. I'm trying to see if we have something new because I have Ryuki and Knight and everything else. I'm just like, where's there we go, the survive form. Oof. Alright, that's Is that all painted? That doesn't look like stickers. That does not. So night survival. That's gonna be a good figure to get. And we should have the Ryuki one, too. There we go. Oh, they used the Bandai flame effects. Those... I wish these weren't so expensive, honestly. That is... They're, they're, they're not cheap. Oh, let's get the... Okay, okay, let's... That looks like... The sticker application for this is really good. I have a lot of issues with putting stickers on weapons. And... That actually looks very clean cut, very fitting on there. Obviously, there's some, but that's that's good. All right, let's see. Oh, yeah, there we go. So we got the survival Ryuki. Okay, I like, I like how this looks. That's gonna be a lot of stickers, but that still looks really good. I need that. I need those flame effects really bad. I have the lightning effects for um which I'm gonna be using with uh my figure art for um Kento from Saber. Um so yeah, oh so they're recreating episode thirty four. I need to rewatch Ryuki, it's been so long. But yeah, those two look really good. And that's two boxes. So Ryuki's box one and two, and Odin is three and four. Well, that's, yeah, that's going to be a real, oh, it actually has stickers for the back. That's good. I mean, I would have liked for it to be just red, so I wouldn't have to, but yeah. And you can see side-by-side -side comparison. That's, I like the, the reverse, so it's like red, that was black, like that's. Oh, that's not a sticker, it's, oh, that's paint, oh, please tell me that's painted. Nuclear parts. Alright, so that I'm okay with that. That's actually really good. Let's see. We got the bank card in the front. Got our weapons. And let's see what let's see if they go over the um night. Oh, so oh they have oh we're gonna get Arm parts for re normal Ryuki too, and more event stickers. Let's see, oof. Oh, I like ah. There's that. There is that premium Bandai Dragon Lancer. Like I need this so bad because I don't. We're, I'm hopefully they'll show a photo of it. But from what I read in the description of it, this can also transform into the bike, and that's all I care about. The head is thoroughly painted. Oof. See, that, that's, that's the thing, though. It's premium Bandai, so the quality is there. You get what you pay for with premium Bandai. And there you go, bike mode. That's This is why I want it. This is the only reason why I want the track. 
and it's almost to scale. So they try and scale all the stuff too. Like with Odin, they, the Phoenix, they tried to scale it as best as possible. But this is pretty good scale size. So like that's going to look so good. And that's the review of Ryuki 3, which is releasing tomorrow. Um, so once I get, because there are some, um, oh, you can purchase Ryuki 3 and Premium Land Limited. Uh, so you can get all 13 with um between the regular three sets that came out and premium bandai because this i have a majority of these i need to get the premium ones this looks so good i like this so much and there we go that's that's three that's ryuki three set like that's it's gonna be a good set so it's night uh wait so night is premium or night survival and then we got the premiums Ugh. yeah they're gonna get oh that's so good that's so mm. so yeah that's that's it for this week's candy blog i'm gonna be do, trying to do this every week um do them every saturday because i just love soto so much and i really want to do more videos on it um, I'm going to find other ways to make them, I guess, more visually appealing. I'm just kind of, you know, reading a blog to you. Uh, usually I'm, I'm reading it on my phone or on my tablet. And yeah, this is just, I, ugh, I love Sotos. Uh, so those, the Ryuki set I'm torn on because I'm going to get set three. Um, actually here in San Diego, there are some stores I go to that actually have the sets right in the candy aisle. Um, it's where I get a majority of my Chronicles where actually I got the Kuga set at Tokyo Central Main and then all of my Gaim sets, the Ryuki sets and everything else. I've actually just found them in the, the candy aisle at this, uh, grocery, this Japanese market grocery store I go to called, uh, Mitsua and so I don't really have to order those online. The all the bot like the revices is now I order from a guy in Japan, sends them out to me. And yeah. But the Yeah, I gotta get like I'm waiting the revice stuff looked really good. I'm glad we're finally getting almost almost everyone's gonna be done. I mean we got demons really early. I think they came in by two or by three. Um and we already had evil and live. So now we're getting you know, Sakura, we're going to get the Kibu Juniors, and we're already going to have Barad Rex, Volcano Barad Rex by by six. So I'm curious what else is going to be in by six, because this is what, since I do the blog every week and we have all the way until the end of March, uh, probably next week we'll get a look at one or two more that are going to be included in by six. But yeah, that's it for that. Like, let me know what you guys think. Are you guys into the Soto uh, candy toy line? I get a lot of other candy toy stuff too. I've gotten a few of the Saber books as candy toys. I've gotten a lot of the candy toy gears for Zenkaiser at the same grocery store. I get most of my mini plaz there and the Yudos, which I plan on building some more of those soon on stream and putting them up on here. I think I have a few that I videos that I haven't put up yet that I will be editing to actually get up on the YouTube channel. But yeah, let me know in the comments below what you think. I'm gonna be doing this every week. We're gonna have a I'm gonna have a video up about Soto stuff. Um, eventually, I want to do more live videos. I haven't decided if I want to do them on YouTube or Twitch, where I'm just going over all the news and announcements for the week, uh, whether it's you know magazine scans, new toy announcements, pre-orders, whether it's Premium Bandai in Japan or here in the United States with Bluefin and Team Rider USA. I definitely want to cover more toys and merch because I do buy a lot of that stuff, um, if you haven't noticed. <laughs> and I want to get into other, you know, merch announcements too, whether it's Gundams. I still have just a ton of stuff to go over. But I thank you guys for watching. This has been me just talking about Sotos and candy toys. And I thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.